top of the morning to ya! Welcome back to Paracord Planet. With St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, we have a lot of videos that'll be coming out over the next couple of weeks featuring St. Patrick's Day projects. For our first video, I thought it'd be very fun to do the four-leaf clover or the Chinese clover knot. It's a very simple knot once you do learn it, so let's get paracording! Wait, that was a pirate. For our project today, we are going to be using 550 Paracord, and our color for this project will be Kelly Green. And you're also going to need something that you can attach the clover to, and you can either use a safety pin or an enamel pin, or in our case today, we're going to be using a push pin that we have folded in half. For our first step, we're going to take our Paracord, and we are going to fold it into an S shape. So a loop to the right, a loop to the left on top to make it look like that. Our second step is we're going to take the left working strand, we're going to go around the back of everything and bring it back to the front. And I'm just going to pinch that right there, but it should look something like that. Our next step is we're going to take our right working strand and we're going to loop it around this left side and then we're going to bring it through the bottom right loop and we're going to make a little bit of a U on the bottom of our knot. So we want something to look like that. Our next step is we're going to take the same strand, the right working strand. We're going to go over, under, over, over until we hit the bottom left loop. So take our strand over, under, over top of the middle, over top of the loop on the left, and through. So at this point, you want something that looks like that. For our next step, we're going to take our same working strand, and we're going to go through this little loop that we had just made when we went across all of the cords the first time. So we're going to take our cord, we're going to bring it through, around the back of everything, and through our little bottom right loop. So at this point, you want it to look like that. And for our final step here, take the same working strand, and we're going to go over top of the bottom strand, underneath the next two, and through the square at the top. So we're going to go over, under two, back over the top, pull it through. So right now it does look like a jumbled mess, but for the four leaf clover, this is going to be our top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. And as long as you keep that in mind, cinching it down is not too complicated. And now we're just going to start cinching our paracord to make it tighter. And at this stage, you can really see the clover starting to take shape. We're just going to continue to cinch down until we have the knot as tight as we want it. So here we do have our completed four-leaf clover knot. I love the way that this knot looks. I think it looks so cool, and it would make a perfect stopper for the end of a keychain or right in the middle of a bracelet if you want to do it that way. But for our project, we would like to turn it into a lapel pin. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take a straight pin, and we are going to just stab our knot right through the middle until it comes out the back. We have chosen the, the color green to make a nice little button on our four-leaf clover. We're going to take a pair of jewelry pliers, and we are just going to grab that pin, and we're going to bend it. You, of course, could use pin backs that you could just put right on top of it so that it's not jabbing you. Or, of course, you could use a safety pin and put it just in the back here as well. But for our purposes today, we don't have any of those on hand, so we are just using this pin, again, that we bent right in the center. For our next step, we're going to cut one of our ends, we're going to burn it down to the back, and then we're going to cut the opposite end, but we're going to leave a little stem for our clover. And with this, we are just going to pinch off the end, and I do want to put out this warning to just be very careful because the end will be hot. So, 
little set of pushes. Get burnt. That's how you know you're doing pair recording correctly. <laughs> And with our four-leaf clover lapel pin completed, it is time to check it out and see how it works. Ooh. Arr, makes me feel more Irish already. Pirate. Still a pirate. Is still a pirate. Thank you so much for checking out the video, and if there's any other St. Patrick's Day themed videos you would like to see in the future, or just any other video, please let us know in the comments below. If this video did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated, and a huge thank you to everybody who has already liked and subscribed. Have yourself a great rest of the day, happy St. Patrick's Day, we'll see you on the next video.